So today we're going to be rebuilding the San Francisco Giants, a team that has an aging squad and also just considered one of the worst farm systems in baseball. When you have those two things mixed together, future doesn't sound too good. Like when you take a look at the starters, I know Logan Webb just recently got extended for five years, 90 mil. And there's a couple other youngsters in Carson, Wisenhunt, Wisenhunt. I'm just going to call him Carson for the rebuild. Kyle Harrison. And then I know they have Will Bednar as well as Reggie Crawford, who potentially could be a two-way player. I think that one's still kind of up in the air. Um, when you look at the bullpen, again, a lot of 30 plus, and I'm not saying that, you know, late twenties, early thirties is a bad thing. It's just when you only have, you know, early, <laughs> early thirties, mid thirties players, you kind of need, you need those younger guys to kind of help you out and fill out that roster. And they don't necessarily have that MLB ready talent just yet. And, you know, you do have Duvall catchers, you know, Joey Bart's been, I would say underwhelming so far. Patrick Bailey is off to a really hot start this year. I know in previous years has struggled hitting the ball on base percentage wise, didn't look too bad, but then you're still looking at some of the roster and a lot of them are late twenties, early thirties. You have Tyro Estrada, who's off to a crazy hot start this year. JD Davis off to a crazy hot start this year. Brandon Crawford's not getting any any younger they do have Artiega. they do have their number two prospect and luciano as well but then again you know you're just seeing these starters and just a lot of them are in their 30s and older so you've got arias you've got ramos who ramos has been a little underwhelming as well and um i know grant mccray i think is in their top five for prospects i he's off to a really rough start in 2023 but um i'm just looking at this team going it it just doesn't look good for the next two three years unless these prospects really develop into some really good players or they can add some pieces around them so with that being said, I just want to make this team younger and let's win a World Series. All right, really quickly, this is the draft. I'll show you the two players that I wanted. Um, actually, it's just the one player I wanted and he got chosen at the 12th or 13th pick. I forgot what the Cubs have. I wanted him and he was ranked like 17, 16th, 15th, somewhere in that range. And we had the 16th pick. I thought maybe he would have fallen to us, but he got picked a few picks before us. I mean, that's our first baseman for the future, for sure. But for us, we actually didn't have a bad draft at all. Uh, we had Tejada, who's 84 potential, 67 overall, 84 potential for this catcher, which not too bad. I, I can I can, I can, get behind that. Good vision, discipline, and clutch, along with some decent contact stats. Uh, Salgado's also got B potential. Camp has C potential, but he's already 72 overall and 79 potentials, like still pretty decent. Like this guy could probably help us out in the fifth spot, maybe in the long relief role. And then we've got Bradshaw, who's 55 overall and uh, 96 potential. So I didn't sign two of our picks because after scouting them a little bit more, their potential was just too low, not worth it. All right, so we actually made the postseason as a wild card team. Did not expect that at all. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, wasn't expecting postseason. Was expecting closer to 800 or 800, 500. And Nolan Arenado, MVP. Okay, Jordan on the other side. DeGrom and Strider, Cy Young winners. Arenado winning the batting title. Jordan winning the batting title. Clay Holmes, along with Evan Phillips, are the relievers of the year. And then Ellie De La Cruz for the Reds. And Nico Holsizer, our rookie of the years. Okay, so pitching wise. All right, so my thing is, I might end up having like a crazy trade spree this offseason or even at like the deadline next year like yes we made the postseason we I, I would assume we're the last wild card spot which very surprising very 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 surprising and yeah i'm just looking at this team going i just i just think we we overperformed for sure for sure for sure yeah i i think we did so pitching rotation wise desclafani had a crazy season and if he's going to progress, we've got him for another year. 12 mil. Not too bad. Scott Alexander came in. Not bad. Okay. You know what? Maybe, maybe we, we're just good. Maybe that's just the thing. Maybe we're just good. Not Jake Junis, but maybe not Taylor Rogers either, who we have for three years, 11 mil each season. Luke Jackson, please don't pitch again. And then Doval is obviously going to be our good reliever. So I need to get rid of Luke Jackson. I don't know who I'm going to call up instead. We're going to call up. Let's go with, I think I had him up. We'll, we'll call him back. We'll add him to the playoff roster. And then let's get rid of Luke Jackson because every time I see Luke Jackson in any sort of rebuild, he is atrocious. So let's just get rid of him now. Logan Webb, I've extended his contract to match what he got in real life. He was fantastic. Love to see it. It's okay. That's not what you want to see. Again, we've got him for another season. Alex Wood does become a free agent. I'm not sure if I'll bring him back. Ross Stripling, we have him for another season as well. Alex Cobb, have him for another season as well. Wasn't that good. I just, I'm looking at this going, Descalfani, yeah, we're paying him what? 13 mil, 12 mil for another year of a long relief roll. Seems 
a little bit expensive to come out of the bullpen like that, but I don't know. Alex Cobb, got to get rid of him. I think that's kind of the big one that I'm looking at, like getting rid of. I don't think these two guys are ready just yet. So we definitely need at least a starter. That That's that's what I'm looking at. And then looking at the bench, David Villar, was, eh, you know, was eh. Lamont Way Jr. was meh. Slater it was, was not bad. You know, 350 on base percentage, almost 800 OPS. I'll take that off the bench. Gary Sanchez, a little disappointing, but doesn't really expecting much either. And then Marco Luciano, I just don't think he's ready yet. I think we're going to have to wait a little bit to see him. Tyro Estrada, definitely not a leadoff guy. He had a really rough season. Um, we've got Crawford, who was pretty solid. I'll definitely take that from Brandon Crawford. Let's see. Jack Peterson, little underwhelming. Little underwhelming. Mitch was solid. Mitch was very good. We have him for two more years after this. I don't know if he's going to hold his rating, but if he can, I'll I'll take that every day of the week. Yastrzemski wasn't bad either. I'll definitely take that. JC, JC, JD Davis. I said JC because I saw his potential went up to C potential and he mashed. Holy cow, Conforto. Eh, that's that's kind of how I would describe it. Kind of actually Joey Bart, almost a 280 average with almost a 340 on base percentage. From a catcher, I'll take that. Catchers are hard to get good offensive production. Luis Gonzalez was solid as well. So I think looking at the team, like I like it. I do think we could elevate a couple things like make it just a, just a little bit better um i don't know if J, jd davis is going to hold this like he popped off plus six plus four in contact you're not going to see that too often is conforto going to improve or is he going to regress and we've got him signed up for a little bit realistically i'm thinking what could we do here also jock's a free agent right i don't know i don't know we'll, we'll, let's just see how the postseason goes really quickly let's see how we do here we lose. Okay. Oh, who was sent down? Wilmer Flores. He shouldn't have been starting. So I don't know why that would have affected our, our lineups. That, that's strange. Okay. Either way, we get eliminated by the Brewers, which, hey, better than what I was expecting. I didn't expect this to be in the postseason at all. Either way, what I really see is this team was just kind of meh, right? Like I, I, I still kind of see, yes, we made the postseason. Yes, we had a couple standout players, but overall, I just feel like we, we need to we have we have good players we need to get some great players and i feel like that's kind of what's holding us back so looking at this alex wood is somehow improving and yeah it's a 413 era 1.3 whip but i'm kind of i don't i don't want to say i want to like post this year but i'm not looking to go crazy in the off season i don't think we have a lot on the budget right okay 2025 with only 50 mil looks very 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 intriguing right look at look at all the look at this uh 18 mil off the books 12 mil 12 mil 12 mil 10 mil 5 mil look at all that off the books um yeah i like that so i think i think we try to bring in a couple pieces and let me see, let me see brandon crawford i'll bring back just to have him in the team he's probably not going to start much but i i feel like he's got to stay with the team until he he retires. So Brebbia, I'll bring back one more year. I don't know if he's going to improve too much more. We'll give him a little bullpen roll. Four mils, not bad for a reliever. Roberto Perez can go. Joe Ross, what does he want to just be like a little depth piece, piece just in case? Two mils, fine. Gary, do we have anybody to back him up right now? Roberto Perez, so no. I'm going to hold off on Gary. I'll think about it. Jock, we have Conforto, so I'm going to say no. And then Alex Wood, 13 mil for a season. I'm going to hold off there. So heading into the offseason, let's see what we've got in terms of availability for pitchers. A lot of decent options. So Alex Wood is still a possibility, but I want to see what else we can get. Bullpen arms, I definitely think we'll need at least one or two. Backup catcher, I feel like we can get somebody there too. Let's see. First base, I think is an area that we could use. How'd CJ Crone do? Oh, he's regressing. I was kind of hoping he wasn't. I could go just the, the usual Garrett Cooper, but let's see. Max Muncie could play first base for us. <laughs> I mean, I know, I know, I know Giants fans won't like that, but it's a possibility. He could, he could play first base for us and potent, maybe, maybe an outfielder. I don't know. I'm not really liking what I'm seeing in free agency so it might just be like a let's pick up a couple pieces see what happens and let's see if we can make the postseason again all right so matt strom's gonna come in i need a lefty reliever and i'm gonna i'm gonna take this deal because the phillies are willing to take on that 10 mil worth of contract so i also want to get rid of alex cobb so i'm just gonna do that now honestly if i can just get anything for him that'd be fine essentially i know his contract's expiring but i just want to have that financial flexibility so let's 
let's just go around. I mean, there's gotta be like a like a C potential reliever that I can get. Again, I'm not I'm not really looking for much here. I'm just looking for something that'll kind of fill out the roster. So we, we do have something with the Rockies. I'm gonna keep that in mind for sure. I'm just seeing if like there might there might be something else out there, you know? You gotta keep your options open. So maybe Yimmy Garcia, maybe not. Joe Kelly, no thank you. Aaron Bummer, no thank you. Norhe Vera. What about Norhe Vera? Ooh, the White Sox are in. And they'd be willing to give me a, a little extra. Ooh, I like this. Let's see what we've got. Lennon Sosa. I don't think you're really gonna do much for us, but I might, I might take Lennon Sosa unless they've got like a little pitcher hanging out down here that we could, we could snag. Which potentially, um, we'll see, we'll see. Let me find this trade. All right, I'm gonna get Roby and Antoine Kelly for Alex Cobb. I'm gonna switch it up. Uh, Antoine Kelly looks pretty decent. Um, another lefty, probably not gonna help us out just yet, but maybe next year, maybe the year after, and they can have another starter, even though they don't necessarily need one. All right, so yeah, I think I'm looking at this going, I, I like what Grant McRae looks like. He looks like he's developing very quickly. I just think he needs maybe like half a season more, maybe a full season in AAA, and we should be good. After that, I think, I think we're looking pretty solid. And then left field will keep Conforto until like maybe Arias is ready. Maybe Ramos gets a little bit more time. We'll have to wait and see. Shortstop's a little bit of a question mark just because like I don't think Luciano's ready just yet. Neither is Artiega or Artiga. We'll call him Averson because that's his first name. I could just use some stop gaps. I think that's probably the smart move for this offseason. All right, season two. And let's let's talk about what's going on here. So we've got Logan Webb. We've got Tyler Maley, which that's my main kind of pitching pickup. 14 mil for the next three years. He's coming off a pretty decent year. If he can sit in this like two, three spot for the rest of the rebuild, that'd be awesome. Just because I don't really know what to expect from these three. I don't know where Harrison's going to end up. I don't know where Carson's going to end up. I don't know where Bednar or Crawford's going to end up. So I'm kind of just hoping that um, these two can kind of be mainstays in the rotation. We've got Descalfani here. Could potentially be a trade piece. If we don't make the postseason this year, I'm not going to be too worried about it just because I felt like we overperformed last year and I'm still trying to weed out some of these older players and get some of the younger guys into. Matt Strom through the trade. Brevia's back. Rogers. Lamette signed on a one-year deal. Floro signed on a two-year club option for five mil. I thought that was a bargain. And then Doval. And then we've got a couple others down here in the farm system. So I've made Reggie Crawford a starter instead of a reliever to see if I can make him a two-way player. <clears throat> we'll see what happens. I've, I've seen a bug where like he won't progress offensively at all, even though I do have him in the lineup as a DH. It could also be that the fact that he has... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, I was going to say maybe because his secondary position is first base, but I don't know. We'll see. Like I said, I've, I've seen where he just will only progress as a pitcher and not as a hitter, even though he's set as a DH. So we'll, we'll see. Um, obviously, we have uh, Sugaste. If he's Panamanian, it might be Sugaste. Either way, catching prospect. We've got Artiega as well. I'm not too sure about his hitting stats, if they're going to be good enough come season three, season four. We'll have to wait and see. Luciano, I'm going to make him most likely a third baseman with the team you'll see why in a sec we've got grant mccray who's probably going to come up soon i signed jj blade we've got ramos patrick bailey as well and then obviously we have our catching prospect where i don't know what to do with him i i think those hitting stats are going to be pretty important to the team maybe i move him to a different position i don't i don't know just because we also have like two other catching prospects so it's kind of tough to get him into the team but speaking of the major league roster i picked up a med rosario nine mil over three, like, or it's basically 27, 28 mil for the next three years. I feel like it's a pretty good deal coming off the season that he had. I felt like shortstop could potentially be an issue if Luciano and Artiega doesn't develop quick enough. So we'll see how it goes there. Estrada, Mitch, Keston's brought in to play first base. I couldn't get Crone or Hoskins. They picked other teams. Yastrzemski, Davis, Conforto, Bart, and Gonzalez. Zunino, Rooker, Rooker. Slater and Biggio are the bench along with Brandon Crawford. So let's see what season two brings us. I'm not too worried about it right now. I want to get to the deadline, see where we're at. All right, I'm at the deadline. We're 51 and 57. Honestly, kind of where I expected us to be. I'm actually looking at the team. I'm fairly happy with it. You know, like look at our starters. Sean Manai is really the only one that's like kind of struggling. Everybody else is fairly good. Descalfani's fantastic. Strom. Lamette struggling. Rogers is struggling a little bit. He's allowing a few runs. Floro, the same thing, but um, the rest of the bullpen. So it's like our bullpen seems to be letting us down a little bit. And offensively, we, we do have a couple couple players struggling a little bit. Estrada being one. Um, Hira's being one. I kind of expected that. So I just put in uh, Rooker in. We've got Yastrzemski, who's only hit 245, but he's not. The power numbers seem to kind of cool off a little bit. 
Let's see, what's what's causing the issue here? Maybe his, his slug is definitely down a little bit. Um, JD Davis is starting to cool off too. Conforto's having an all right year. It's not too bad. It's actually pretty decent. Um, Joey Bart's not bad, not bad. Um, but again, it's one of those things where it's like, it's not bad, but I need it to be a little bit better. And then I'm um, looking at our farm system. Luciano's developing pretty decently. He's having a fairly good year. We've got McCray who is having a good year, but his attributes hitting wise are going down. So I'm going to hold off on him probably for the rest of the year. I want those hitting stats to go back up. I feel like why, why rush him if he's, if he's struggling. Um, JJ Bleday is having a fairly good season. Ramos is having a very good year, which is tempting me to put him into the team. Uh, how could I get him into the team? How could I get him into the team? I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't with our current setup. So um, I just feel like it'd be a waste to call him up if he's not going to get everyday time. And Patrick Bailey is also having a fairly decent season. In the farm system, you got Artiego who's struggling a little bit. And Reggie Crawford's having a good season um, offensively. Pitching-wise, not so much. But the issue is he's not developing hitting-wise. And this is what I was kind of worried about. At least it's not showing that he's developing hitting-wise. So that's that's a bummer but overall I'm, I'm pretty happy with the team i think we could maybe use like a little bit better of a leadoff guy but i, I guess that would be like a second baseman which i guess we we, we kind of could use a second baseman nothing against estrada but like he's just not developing or at least producing like i would have hoped and i guess i could try to lower him in the lineup maybe like i mean i, I guess we just need a contact guy we really do um, I guess we could look for one. I guess that could be kind of like our target as Juan Soto and Oswald Peraza is just chilling there on the, the trade block for sure. Yeah, makes a lot of sense. Total sense. How's Fran Mill doing? I mean, I, I'm just saying that'd be kind of nice. Kind of nice. But um, I'm going to see if I can find us like a new, maybe a second baseman. Nothing against Estrada. I think, he, I think he's having a great year in real life. He's hitting the ball hard. And I wanted him to be good. I'll give him the rest of the year. I'll give him the rest of the year. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. But I would like to get rid of some of those contracts that are expiring. I'm going to acquire Trevor Rogers from the Marlins for Alex Wood, Kasten Hira, and Clint Coulter. Sure, I that shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. But it is. We got a new a new pitcher in the rotation. I'm going to get rid of Stripling and Minaya, and then probably Descalfani. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. I think we're pretty good otherwise. I'm trying to see. I guess Conforto is another one. Um, he wants... He wants 12 mil to be extended for another season and i i'm considering it i'm considering it he's one of those where like I'm, i might bring back it depends it depends so let's see what else we can get in the trade market all right from manaya i'm getting a reliever and hunter harvey and tj white who might just be a platoon guy for us we'll see uh it's not a big deal um ross stripling needs to go and so does descalfani and that'll be it all right ross stripling is gonna get me edward julian of the twins along with jalen nolan um see potential probably not gonna improve too much more but you know what we need we need a little help at second base he might be able to help us out for just like a season or two and then descalfani he is regressing slash like progressing in certain areas uh just at 33 years old he's probably gonna want like eight so million i just i just can't do that i just can't do that so i'm looking for i guess a long reliever for this year or another reliever for the future um i'm kind of kind of i'm like kind of stacking like close to MLB ready relievers and pitchers at this point. Uh, but at the same time, I do need MLB ready pitching right now. Actually, I guess we could, we could, we could try out some of our prospects that we have. So, cause I don't think we're making the postseason this year. I'm not really trying to push for it. And I'm going to let some of our youngsters start getting some, some reps. Ah, man, I'm trying to see what we could use. I guess we still could use like a third base prospect. It doesn't even have to be like someone crazy good. It could just be someone that like might help us out down the line. You know what I mean? Someone that could just maybe get a couple, couple at a B's here and there. So let's, oh, Joe Kenzie, they have in the majors. Why? There's no way he's ready for the majors. He's, he's all pop and I'm, I'm down for that. Like I kind of want that in the team. I'm, I might take Noel. John Kenzie Noel. That might be the move I do. I'm I'm like really tempted by it. I that might that might be the move. I'm I'm looking at my other options here. I'm thinking it is. I'm thinking it is. Oh, Christopher Morell. Morell's an interesting one. I can't get him. I'm intrigued by Morell though. Now he could play second, he could play third, he could play the outfield. We kind of do need like a little bit of flexibility here and there. Oh, okay. Uh we're we're gonna work some magic here. JD Davis for Morell. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're set now. You can have there. There it is. Perfect. I think that might be it. All right, after the deadline, we, we acquired a bunch of players, but at the same time, I feel like we uh we, we probably need to take a step back or two. We're going to have Carson and Kyle Harrison pitch, and then the bullpen looks 
like this with Joe Ross also being called up. So looking at the lineup now, Morell slots in at third. And then we've got a couple prospects that I need to uh, move around and sort out where they're going to be. But overall, I feel like we've done pretty well. All right, here's our draft. It, it went okay. We got 69 overall with 80 potential. Honus Ramirez, he was a little bit of a stretch. Uh, he was ranked like the 30th ish best player we had like the 20th pick so i just kind of uh did a little bit of a, a reach not a stretch a reach and picked him up just because i like the looks of his hitting stats and the speed uh david regan long-term prospect and then the rest were see potential along with this bust so there's that all right so like i said 77 and 85 we would take a step back how many games like 10 games 12 games yeah i mean that's understandable right like i kind of expected that Ahmed rosario led the league in doubles and if we take a look at the awards otani won mvp with a pretty crazy pitching year along with a decent offensive season as well is his attributes they are changing so why wouldn't reggie crawford's not change because like i was kind of hoping i could have at least got him into the team in some way shape or form in the future but it doesn't really look like it with the fact that he's not really progressing like at all, which is a huge bummer as uh, you see the rookies of the year and the rest of the awards. So I don't know. We'll, we'll have to figure it out. But let's take a look and see how everybody did. Antoine Kelly didn't pitch at all. Joe Ross was just there to eat innings for the rest of the year. Matt Strom, how did he do? I know he's a free agent. He's actually pretty good. Um, maybe bring him back for another year. Maybe. Uh, Taylor Rogers, I will not be bringing him back for another year, but he was very good. Very good. Very good. So was Dylan. Ooh, Dylan Floro. Probably not going to bring him back. Probably should have traded him, but oh well. Uh, John Brevia is still doing very good. Love to see it. The Nilsson Lamette sucked. Okay. And then Doval was very good. Only blew two saves. That's pretty impressive. So let's see here. He didn't pitch at all. Hunter Harvey, how did he do? Okay not bad not great you know we could do a little bit better there how are we looking here 74 overall for antoine camp i think his potential was like what 78 so we've got a little bit more room to grow honestly i might put him in the long relief spot see how he does for a year let's see what else we got here seth Corey up to 70 and then reggie crawford up to his 68 did his hitting stats they did not improve at all bummer bummer all right um let's see here logan webb solid season i'll take it not as good as last year but still really strong Trevor Rogers, I think, in that two spots is going to be fantastic for us with Maley, who did cool off a little bit in the second half of the year. I still think him in the three is going to be pretty good. And then Carson, along with Kyle Harrison, there's going to be a little bit of a, a little bit of a learning curve, but uh, I, be I believe in them. I believe in them for sure. All right, offensively, it looks like a couple players got sent down. And Luis Gonzalez, who definitely did cool off second half of the year, which is very unfortunate. Tyro Estrada, we know, was struggling. Not what you want to see. Elliot Ramos. Um, might get some time next year because Luis Gonzalez kind of struggled. Um, Colton Welker might be a bench bat for us just based on how he played. Uh, Patrick Bailey will get him into the team eventually. I just don't know how. I don't know how. And I think he was called up. He gave me nine home runs. Kind of what I was looking for. 10 to 15. I, that's It was home run or bust for him. All right. Zunino, what are we looking like? Not great. I gave you a one-year deal. Probably not going to come back. We'll see. Backup catcher. We'll have to wait and see. Um, oh, our base percentage is super low here for Julian. Bummer. McCray got called up. Super small sample size. Tough to judge him. Austin Slater, though, like low-key kind of a beast. <laughs> I might bring him back for another year. We'll see. Uh, Luciano, are you ready for the big time? i would probably put you at third base next year. We'll see how it goes. And then Biggio is pretty bad. Um, Artiega didn't get any appearances. All right. Ahmed Rosario. Picked up the on-base percentage towards the second half of the season, which I like to see. Morel, I like that a lot. Mitch cooled off a little bit. He's probably going to start to regress as well. So we've got one more year. Probably going to keep him. We'll see what happens. Yastrzemski, one year of arbitration left. I don't, I don't know if it's worth bringing him back, especially when we've got players like Mitch who's going to regress. I don't know what to do with Conforto. Like he was probably our best player this year. I kind of want to bring him back. He's going to want similar like 12-ish mil. Just don't know if Yastrzemski's worth it, especially with McCray, who's got kind of similar hitting stats. Like, I might just rock with McCray. We might just go to the younger guy and just let Yastrzemski walk. And then we've got Joey Bart, who is okay. And I just don't know if, you know, Patrick Bailey can compete, you know, and it only looks like he hits lefties well. And that's kind of what Bart, oh, Bart actually hits righties better, but he's got the lefty power. Ah, man, I hate when that happens. Um, I was kind of hoping maybe we get a little platoon situation going on. But 
doesn't look like that. And then I'm trying to see if we have anybody else. But I think that's it. I think that's it for now. So no postseason. Yeah, I think I think season three, I've got a better idea of what I want to do as the Dodgers defeat the Blue Jays, which I mean, they probably have a stacked team if they've got um, Otani on there. As you can see, Brandon Crawford had 35 at bats, 11 hits. I mean, he had a good send off season. Love to see it. And now what do we do here? I'm going to decline this option for Floro. What does Conforto want for one year? He wants, wow, that is way less than what he was asking for at the contract extension period right before the trade deadline. He was asking for 12 and a half mil. This is way less. Uh, Yeah, take it. Seven mil, 100%. Um, Slater, can I get like one more year? Like versus lefties, he's killing it. He wants more than Conforto? Uh, I think I think it's a platoon bat. It's not a bad. It, it's, it's not great, but he's realistically going to get some playing time. So especially with... Conforto being good versus righties. Slater will come in versus lefties, even though Conforto's contact versus lefties went up a lot this year. Strom, I said I would give one season. We'll give him the bullpen, not 15. We'll give him four mil. Uh, Brebia, I think he's he's been too good not to give him another opportunity. He also wants four mil. We'll give him four and a half. The, no and no. Okay, so now it's just time to spend money. Pick up the team. We definitely need a first baseman. That's kind of like our big hole in the lineup. Um, versus lefties, though, it's Ben Slater, but he didn't resign. So I meant Rosario left. No. Um, so Rosario Morel, even though I'm, I think I'm thinking about maybe something like Luciano. We'll, we'll we'll definitely bump him down a little bit in the lineup. Maybe something like this. We'll have Morel. Morel can like kind of play anywhere, so he could probably play second for us. Um, not first, but second. So we, we need a first baseman. That's really the like the main hole in this lineup. So let's let's go big. Let's get a first baseman. Hopefully there is one available. Um, there's Pete. We could get Pete. That might be the target. All right. So I'm I'm in spring training, and there was a team that made quite a few moves this off season. Uh, one of those was Juan Soto getting picked up for like 18 mil. Uh, I should have I should have went in on that um, and I didn't just because I feel like I get Juan Soto a couple times already and he's like one of the main big free agents but 18 mil over the next what nine years like that's that's a bargain they also picked up Willie Adamas uh, I, I feel like that's something I, I, I should have should have got it on but I again I'm, I'm trying to keep it within this team uh, like trying not to blow it up too much and um because of that, I think there are some big name free agents that come this year. So if things don't work out, we can go after them now. But um, let me let me get this fixed because we got way too many players called up for spring training. Right, for season three, this is the team here. We've got Webb, Rogers, Maley, Carson, and Kyle Harrison. Antoine Camp, one of our recent draft picks, is going to get a little bit of a debut. We've got Strom, Kelly, Rogers, Brebia, Sims, who I picked up on a two-year deal. Coming off a really good season in the setup role. I like what I see. And then Duvall. And then lineup wise, we've got a stride on the bench. Patrick Bailey got called up. We're going to call in Franchi. He came off a really good year with the Mariners. I kind of want him in the lineup, but I picked up Rowdy Telez, Biggio, and Luis Gonzalez. So that's going to be our bench with Morel, Conforto, Mitch, Telez, Bar, Joey Bart, Rosario, Ramos, McCray, and Lucia, uh, Luciano. Um, I signed Suli Mateus. We've got our bench. Our AAA team looks kind of stacked. Um, I'm actually like, re I really like it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's our, that's our, that's our farm system. Um, some decent prospects here as well, um, including our catching prospects. So we'll see what happens. Um, I like this team a lot. I think we're going to be okay. Once again, um, it just really depends on how players progress, especially these two. If these two give us a good year, I think we'll be okay. I trust the offense to get things done. So let's get through season three at the deadline. I need bullpen help. Uh, so things aren't going to plan. I'm going to pick up Jose Alcala or Jorge Alcala for John Brebia. Don't know how that works, but it works. Um, somebody else was doing really bad. Yeah. Um, I could use a righty. So is there another reliever that I can snag from a team? Yeah. Jonathan Hernandez sounds good. You can have Taylor Rogers straight up even better. Look at that. All right. So that might have solved all my bullpen problems. We'll go like this. Okay, so that looks good. Definitely need a long reliever of sorts because he's getting shelled and so are like a majority of my starters. Thing is, I don't want to change up the starters too much because I don't want to like take away their spots. Offensively, bottom half of the lineup really sucks besides like Luis Gonzalez and Franchi. I've put them in just now because Ramos was struggling. Joey Bart is struggling. Grant McRae struggling i might give mccray i might give mccray right field again 
might not might not give up on him just yet yeah but man oh man seeing the team just kind of like fall apart offensively when i thought that was probably our best part not good artiega looks okay but he's struggling in triple a still uh we've got julian who's like kind of struggling but has a good ops he's got 26 home runs this guy had b potential he's down to c but he's having an okay year i believe he struck out like a bajillion times like three years ago in like double a i think it was like almost 200 times he struck out um arias's potential went down he's struggling as well crawford still not developing offensively we might have to fast track one of our catchers because they're actually hitting well and ours aren't so it probably would be Tejada just because he's got crazy hitting stats. Um, he's absolutely tearing it up in double A. So it might be him that gets called up. We also do have Honus Ramirez who is tearing up double A too. So we've got a couple prospects that probably going to get fast tracked here pretty soon. Just with, just with their, their, uh, their, their, their play in the, uh, let's backtrack with, with the way that they're playing in double A. They'll probably get fast tracked to the majors so we'll see we'll see let's let's see how this plays out we're currently in a wild card spot i guess i could let's see if we can find someone that's like a little bit older maybe their contract's coming to an end i don't want tyler anderson stroman's contract's coming to an end can't be that hard to trade for him right can't be so let's see do i have some like hunter bishop that's pretty close ah uh, how's he doing in triple a he's not really playing okay you can have him and you can also have, um, who am I not using? I'm not really using the San Diaz like at all, but you can have these two. All right. That'll be kind of like our, our help for this season. We'll get Marcus Stroman into the team. Antoine Camp can go back to triple A and that should, that should work. We might even do something like, like this, like that, like that. We'll do, we'll do that. And that should get us through the rest of the year. We should be okay. And then I think this this offseason is the year where we kind of we kind of go all out. Like Conforto's still doing well. Probably should trade him. We'll see. I'll, I'll leave it. I like the team, but at the same time, I'm I'm realizing we do we do got to step in and do more do more. All right, we made the postseason. 89 and 73 were a wild card team, which is awesome. I think that was the record that we had the first year we made the postseason. Let me check. It was. Yeah. Okay. So we have a league leader. Logan Webb had quite the season pitching. Let's take a look at awards really quick. Otani, back-to-back -back MVPs. Rowdy Telez was in the mix, though. I did give him a two-year club option. I probably will pick that up. That, that's a crazy season. Is he going to do it again? Probably not. But if he can give me 30 home runs, close to 100 RBIs, I will be happy. Jordan won it on the other side. Cy Young goes to Kopech and Strider. Batting title is Freeman and Jordan. Reliever of the year is King and Phillips. And then Nico Cavadas and Tyler Soderstrom are the rookies of the year. Okay, let's take a look here. So Carson, we, we saw he was struggling. He's still only 24. Yeah. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Antoine Camp, kind of the same thing. Super young. We'll be fine with him. Strom has been fantastic. Didn't pitch as much this year, but was still really strong. Antoine Kelly, love to see that. I'm really happy with this pickup. Plus nines, plus sevens. Killing it. Give me more of that. Jonathan Hernandez struggled a little bit, but I, I think we'll be fine with him in the bullpen as well. Same thing with Lucas Sims. Um, had him in the setup role, was struggling, but we took him out and, I mean, have his ERA. Uh, Alcala looks really good. And then Doval, I think I think we've got our bullpen sorted. Maybe not Strom moving forward, but at least we'll, we'll have, you know, we have, um, we have Harvey down here. We've got Jose Cruz. We've got Randy Rodriguez. And uh, we could, I mean, if we really needed to, we could turn to like Reggie Crawford or something. Um, where are we going here? Logan Webb, how are we looking? Fantastic. Should have been in the Cy Young race. Uh, we got Trevor Rogers, love it. Good second spot. Tyler Maley started to warm up towards the second half of the season. Good. Strowman, kind of the player that we needed to kind of just fi finish off the season. And then Kyle Harrison, again, struggled, but we should be fine. And we've got a couple other prospects that we could turn to if needed. All right, so... Marco Luciano got sent down, definitely cooled off come the end of the year, which is unfortunate. Let's see what Franchi put up this year. Respectable enough numbers to not be sent down. So let's let's go back. He is, oh, did they have him in left field? They do. So let's add him to the playoff roster. And then I also need to add, where is he? Shortstop, Marco Luciano. And then we need to send down Julian. And who else? Oh, a pitcher, which it is going to be Camp. Boom. There we go. All right. Lineup wise, it should be like, 
Let's get Luciano back in. All right, so Franchi was was decent. You know, he had small small appearance, less than 100 at bats, but did did good enough. Estrada had him in versus lefties, did the job. That's I think versus lefties is the the lineup he needs to be in for sure. Essentially, what what I'm thinking is I'm probably gonna have to take out Morel. We're gonna go Estrada for Morel. Morel's gonna come out. We're gonna go Franchi at the DH, and then I guess Luciano is at third. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do versus lefties. And then Bart's gonna have to come out because he sucks. And then uh, Bishop's gonna come in. I think that's what I'm gonna have to do. Artiega's also up for some reason, but okay. So how did Patrick Bailey do? Gave him a little bit more time, kind of struggled. Luciano, okay, what, what is up with this bench? All right, Artiega got called up over who? Who got sent down? Oh, Ramos. Yeah, 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 yeah. Biggio off the bench was a little bit better than last year. Looking at our starters, Ahmed Rosario took over the leadoff spot over Morel because Morel was struggling, but he did the job. Love to see it. Conforto, the power numbers may have dipped a little bit, but I'm still pretty happy with the season he put up. Mitch, still pretty solid. Probably not coming back, though. It's just realistic. Rowdy Telez was fantastic. He needs to be dropped in the lineup. Uh, Gonzalez played a little bit more as the season got, got going, got towards the end of the year was was pretty solid so we'll keep him in versus righties morel struggled a little bit this season and then mccray picked it up i almost took him out of the lineup and he actually did a fairly good job so i'm pretty happy with the team let's see how we do against the pirates whoa the pirates and we are eliminated by the pirates what is their lineup that they're eliminating us from the postseason hayes reynolds manessas that's a good pickup i mean we should have won simple as we should have won so yeah that's season three in the books it's time to it's time to juice up this team oh they won the world series the pirates won the world series what what is their pitching rotation how did they win a world series man <laughs> okay let's get to the offseason it's been four i've made some changes uh the starting rotation is going to stay the same we've got camp back up and then we brought in andrew chafin to be that extra lefty that we need in the bullpen but outside of that we, we've kind of got the same thing going on it's offensively that I've made some changes. So the bench, you've got Cordero, Estrada, Julian, Bart, and Ramos. Catching position is, if they're bad, we're going to call up one of our other guys. We've got uh, Sugaste, Sugaste, whichever it is. And then we've also got the other guy, which I'm, I'm forgetting is Tejada. Yeah, uh, I've got a couple players on waivers hoping they don't get picked or uh, poached by another team. But Tejada is probably going to get called up this year. He, he just looks too good not to. Um, a downside was that Arias went down to be potential. I think he'd actually be pretty close to being ready um, in the next season or two. He still is only 21. And same thing with Artiega. He's still young. And I, again, probably be ready in a se like half a season or so. I don't know who Reckley is. Doesn't look too bad either. Um, looking at the moves that I made, we've got Nico Horner, California native, more of like an Oakland area uh, native, but coming off a really good season good defensively good with the bat put him in the two hole we could put him in lead off spot if we really needed to and um it was what a, a five four five year deal but realistically like if i was going past like season five i probably would have only done like three years maybe four years i guess five years wouldn't be too bad because a med rosario does become a free agent so that opens up artiega spot and then in the outfield i didn't really change much because i liked what gonzalez did versus righties we could also just like let ramos face lefties um estrada has been playing outfield so what i could do is i could change his uh secondary positions to play left field as well we've got franchi there too morel's gonna uh, play some outfield for us we've got mccray we've got our catcher bailey and luciano so vlad obviously another big pickup and you're probably thinking why would i do that well Tele's contract expires at the end of this year so that first base spot is going to open up and then um we also like have like Arias and we have a couple other outfielders. Well, I mean, spots are going to open up because contracts are going to expire. So all these younger guys can still come into this roster. And if we look at this team now, 30, 28, 27, 31, 30, 26, 25, 26, 24. Like everybody's at least under the age of 30 compared to when we started with it, where everybody was like almost over the age of 30, maybe like one or two players different. So I feel like we've definitely young get youthened up the team not young it but youthened up the team and then realistically some of these prospects still might come up just because of you know underperformers in the starting lineup probably going to be a catcher spot so we'll see pitching wise we might have to make a trade at the deadline most likely for like a fourth or fifth starter maybe a long reliever we'll have to wait and see for the season 94 and 68 easily our best year and league leaders you got vlad jr who popped off a little bit which is awesome to see we needed a little bit of pop in the lineup provided that awards a hank aaron 
and an MVP. There we go. See, we've been missing that, and we finally got it in the lineup. He provides. Love to see it. Judge wins it on the other side, just beating out Jordan. It's been back and forth between those two. McClanahan and Nola are your Cy Young winners. Stevenson batting title along with Aaron Judge. Michael King along with Joel Mantiply are your relievers of the year. And then Ronnie Mauricio got called up by the Mets. And then Brandon Lewis of the Tigers. Okay. Some interesting names there. All right. So did they change this all? No, they didn't. I'm wondering if they changed the lineup though. What? Okay. All right. Pitching wise, Antoine Camp was unbelievable. Gave, gave him another year, filled that long relief spot perfectly. He was really good. Um, Antoine Kelly, also very solid. Love to see it. Jonathan Hernandez, a little bounce back season. Perfect. Chafin, yeah, not the best of years. Regressed a little bit, but still a strong lefty out of the bullpen. Lucas Sims was even better than last year, which is crazy to think about, while also pitching 20 more innings. We got Jorge Alcala, who definitely regressed a little bit in terms of his performance. He also pitched less, which makes me think... Uh, we didn't get many save opportunities. We did. We ah, ooh, seven blown saves, but still a really good season. So, yeah, maybe just Alcala wasn't the right guy for the setup. Uh, Logan Webb was really good. Love to see it. Trevor Rogers still putting up that like three and a half ERA, 1.27 whip. I'm okay with that. He's killing it. Trevor, uh, Tyler Maley. Okay. All right. He's kind of been this range anyway. So, like, I, I'm okay with that. Kyle Harrison is is improving. So, you know, we give them the innings and, you know, compared to the last last season, which first year, really similar years, but obviously it's what a third of the innings. So comparing him to 2025 improved. I like it. And then Carson even better. Love it. So I might even go like that for the postseason. So actually, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. Let's let's have faith in our guys. So off the bench, Tyra Strata really struggled this year. Sucks. Uh, Julian was a little bit better. I like to see that. What else we got here? Bart. Uh, base percentage isn't terrible along with the average, but it's just not what I'm looking for. McCray struggled. You're going to see who I put in in place of him. Elliot Ramos also struggled. And then if we take a look at our team, we've got a Med Rosario who's starting to regress. His contract's about to end, so it's perfect timing. There we go. Not the best of seasons, but still put up 27 home runs, 32 doubles, 14 stolen bags. So Nico Horner, also kind of a disappointment. Hate to see that. So our first two in the lineup didn't really produce, but Vladdy was an MVP. So there's that. Uh, Telez, 34 home runs. I'm okay with that. Yeah, the numbers took a little bit of a dip compared to last year, but still pretty solid. Not a bad year. Not a bad year. Yeah. Again, I, I just feel like we, we definitely underperformed as a team offensively. I think that's what's been holding us back. I called opponents Ramirez. Didn't give me what I was looking for. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of hoping for a little bit better. Uh, same thing from Luciano. Like we're just really underperforming, but this guy right here, Eric Tejada, the catcher came in, gave me 270 at bats. Somehow, was he even in the race for the rookie of the year? He wasn't, which is crazy compared to like those guys. He was a hitting machine. Eight home runs, 13 doubles, 42 RBIs, same amount of walks as strikeouts. Like that's a good season. That's a really good year. Um, how? All right, let's see here. I'm trying to think of how I want to. I think Morel's got to come out versus lefties. And I guess Honus has to come in. I don't really want a Med Rosario out there, though. I guess versus lefties, it doesn't really matter. I mean, this is what we're going to rock with for the postseason. We're going to be taking on who? The Marlins. I mean, it's probably going to be like some crazy stacked team that we're going to struggle against. Um... Offensively, we should be okay. Offensively, we should be okay. But with Alcantara, Cabrera, Lozardo, Sixto, Yuri Perret, like that's a good pitching team. That's going to be our downfall. All right, here we go. Let's see how we do. Uh, we don't have a lineup. That's fine. We win. Come on, Tyler Maley. There we go. Or Mally. Mally. There it is. All right, we win. We're going to be taking on the Dodgers now. They got Shohei. So it's going to be it's going to be a tough game. Um, Yeah, I mean, that's a good team. That's a good team. Gonsolin, Otani, Freed. This, this one's going to be tough. This one's going to be tough. Um, pitching wise, um, did we have a day off? We did. We had one day. So I, th I think I should be able to go something like maybe just push everybody up a day and that should be fine. Like, yeah, Kyle Harrison starting game one. But if we can get a win away, I feel pretty good at home against the Dodgers. All right. We got to win one of these two away games. All right. The second one. That's fine. That works. And that one. All right. Come on. Come on, Carson. Four to one game. That's what I'm talking about. Taking on the Brewers. Let's take a look at the Brewers squad here. We've got Mitchell Yandi, who in real life is like off, 
uh, like on fire. He's finally adding a little bit of like elevation to his hits. Ooh, Bo Bichette. Offensively, they've got kind of like one of those like glitchy teams. Like Yandi, Bo Bichette's like crazy good in franchise this year. Guillaume is always good. Madrigal is like hit or miss. And then pitching wise, what do we got here? Peralta, Urquidy, though like Urquidy's kind of nice. Um, I like our chances. I like our chances. Who's pitching? Kyle Harrison. Uh yeah. I think I think that's fine. I think we're looking good. All right, let's do it. We're home. I feel like we should win both. And we do. Oh man, we're looking really good. Come on. Get no, don't go, don't go down two to three. All right, perfect. There we go. We're in the World Series. We're taking on the Astros now. Logan Webb's gonna get the mound game one. And that's a tough, that's a tough pitching. The bullpen's a little weak though. The, the bullpen is a little weak, but that rotation's looking nice. Offensively, what are we looking at? Altuve, Bregman, Jordan, Gavin Sheets can be really good. Pena, McCormick, yeah. Yeah, this is definitely our toughest matchup for sure. Um, I mean, just Jordan alone makes me worried. Alrighty, Logan Webb, I need you here. That's a good start. That's a good start too. Oh yes, give me more of that. Road is fine, we'll rock that. All right, we're gonna go. We're just gonna go Logan Webb. Let's let's try to end it here. Let's sweep them. We got the single there. Another single. Double play. Come on, man. Don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. A double. I mean, with two outs, it's kind of tough to get the runner going. But there we go. Pop up a double play. Come on, really. Base is loaded. I need you to get Jordan out here. I know this is a big out. Does it? He does it. Balls of steel right there. All right, come on. Another one, two, three inning. Love it. A single. Nice start. Can we steal second? Caught stealing. Stupid idea. Don't worry about it. All right. A single again. I mean, that might may have worked for us, but I gotta, we got to do something. Maybe cause some chaos because right now, offense is stalling and we're not really doing much here. Boy. 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 All right. Top eight. It's That's a good start. That's a really good start. A strikeout there is not ideal, but Ahmed Rosario replaces him at second. Gets the run in. There we go. First and second. Nothing happens. All right. Logan Webb's tired. Let's go Sims. And that, no. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Man, really? All right. Game's over. 11 to 1. 11 to 1. Uh, just end the game. End the game. We, we scored four that inning, but that's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Let's close it out, please. Let's close it out. I can't. I can't. I can't let it go. Another another game. We got to. Um, I guess we go Rogers here. Let's see what we do. Like, come on. We, we can't let that happen again. We can't blow it like that. Jordan home run. I mean, three nothing. I think we're just. Are we really going to choke this? Are we really going to choke this? Three, nothing. Nothing, nothing at all. We're not doing anything offensively. Good Lord. Okay, that's a good start. And then first and third, Nico Horner. I, there we go. That's a start. That's all we need. Bases loaded. Rowdy Telez. Grounds out. Oh, man. Okay. One run scores. They get that run back. We're probably going to take them out after that. Oh, man. Um, I feel like this is another loss, unfortunately, unless we can, we get, unless we wake up like this inning, this could be it. That's a good start. One run scores. Bases loaded for Vladdy. Bases clearing doubles. Huge for us right there. Holy cow. And then Morel brings in another insurance run. And then we get a triple by Honus Ramirez. That is so big. Ah, man. Okay. Uh, righty, righty, righty. Let's go Sims. Double play is big. That's fine. The run does score, but the double play. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Whatever. Double. Vladdy bringing this insurance run. Oh, two is even better. Nine to five. Then we get another one and another. I feel like DJ Khaled at this point. All right. Uh, lefty, lefty. Let's get the lefty Chafin. He walks and then a single. Like I brought you in because I needed you to not do this. Camp, I, I need you to be on your A game here. God. All right. I mean, it doesn't help that my lefty walk, gets uh, allows the two lefties to get on base. But we're first and second with one out. Double play. It, it literally comes down to Doval. 
please. Please, no, 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 no. <sighs> Holy cow, we got the win. Vladdy, five RBIs. Woo, boy. World Series MVP, Vlad Jr., playoff MVP, Vlad Jr., have a postseason. Good Lord. Can't, you can't do that to me. Can't be doing that to me. Uh, Telez sucked. What happened, man? Actually, the offense. Honus. I like that. Yeah, offense was like really hit or miss. Really hit or miss. And it looks like the pitching kind of held it down. Um, obviously, Rodgers got rocked a little bit towards the end there. But um, really, it was just Logan Webb. Maybe the bullpen. I mean, I guess we were just in slugfests. I don't know. I, we, we somehow squeaked it out. There it is. Lineup wise, like, yeah, Rosario came in. Yeah, Horner and Vladdy. Telez, Morel. Um, but I feel like this, this is good. We kind of allowed some new players to come in and it, it paved the way for like our, our prospects. Because like if you look at it, we, we, we've got crazy prospects with some crazy potential coming up very soon. And uh, I feel like we did a pretty good job. Plus, we, we just we just won a World Series. So like who really cares? That's, that's the Giants rebuild. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and enjoyed the content. And of course, get in the comment section. Let me know what team is next. That's about it. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.